Hey guys, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, Cooking with Jack show. And I just want to give you a little reminder that some of you were asking if we're still selling sauce on Amazon. The only thing we're selling on Amazon is like barbecue products and kitchen products and stuff. And it's called amazonjack.store. And then we have our sauces on thebestsauces.com. So I just want to clarify that up. Things are always changing on the show. We are this year supporting Convoy of Hope. If you guys don't know what that is, it's people who get filled trucks with medicine and clothing and food for everybody in the world. They help out anybody in Europe, anybody in Asia, wherever disaster is happening, they just start driving their trucks. They don't even wait for money. They just bring supplies. So I'm supporting them this year. This recipe, we don't do a lot of breakfast on the show, so we're gonna pick a breakfast dish that only takes seconds. You guys ready? All right, so the first thing you wanna do is arrange your oven. I want you to pull one rack out and take the second rack and put it in the middle of your oven. So we wanna cook in the center of your oven, okay? And then put it to 350 and get ready to chow down. Okay guys, so this recipe is called a bacon and Gruyere cheese egg bites. It's gonna be delicious, but I just wanna talk about the bacon really quick. As you can see, this is from Cracker Barrel. It's about two pounds of bacon. Did you know you can go to Cracker Barrel and order bacon, and if you want it cooked, they'll cook it for you, or you can probably buy it raw before it's cooked. So if you have a big event and you're, you need bacon right away, your local Cracker Barrel will sell you their bacon. Ha, that's what we did right here. So we have bacon, we have cream cheese, we have Gruyere cheese, we got bacon fat, which since that bacon was cooked at the restaurant, we need to have our own bacon fat, or you can use butter if you want, and then we have salt and eggs. Let's go, oh, let's start mixing everything first and then get over to the stove. Okay, so we got the oven preheating. So the next thing you gotta do is get your pan, grab some bacon grease or butter, all right? And you wanna give it a heavy dose of it and get it all coated. Make sure you get the sides of your pan too because it'll make it easier, whoops, to get all the food out. Okay, got the pan all greased. Now we're gonna take all our ingredients Place them in a blender and blend till smooth. You guys ready? I'm gonna pour in the eggs. Slowly. <laughs> then we're going to put in our cream cheese. There we go. Put in our Gruyere. There we go. A little bit of salt. Shake, shake, shake go and then put the cap on Turn it sideways sorry put the cap on and we got the little plunger there's a plunger is great to get everything down in into the blades you guys ready this one all right ready here we go Now, if you notice, it kept growing the faster I went. That's because we're infusing a lot of air into it. So the more air you infuse into this, the fluffier the dish will be. Just FYI, you make it however you want. You can go slow, you can go fast, whichever one you want. So we're gonna be pouring this into our baking dish now. All right, next thing you do is take the lid off. Set it down over here carefully. Take your egg, make sure you just blend it. Carefully pour it into the pan. All right, we're gonna take our bacon that we chopped up. We're gonna place it all on top. Some will sink to the bottom, some will sit on top. However many pieces you want. They recommend about anywhere from six to nine pieces, so. All right, now you see this mixture here? This whole thing gets covered in foil right now before we put it in the oven. All right, so what you wanna do is grab either a, like a chafing dish like this or a roasting pan would work, all right? Put six cups of hot water in here and place your dish, as you can see it's covered in foil, place your dish in here, all right? And then put it in the oven from, for 55 minutes to an hour. There we go. We're gonna place this whole thing in the oven like this. It's covered 
And then if you want it brown, we can take the foil off for about five minutes under the broiler. It's whatever you wish. This will be your recipe after I give it to you, okay? So what we did was once it was done cooking, it was just like an egg yellow. We got this golden brown beautiful by turning the broiler on this for about four to five minutes. And then we watched it very carefully as it darkened. And it looks gorgeous. And there it is. Bacon and Gruyere cheese egg bites. Let's cut them into cubes right now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Waiting. You want me to just grab it with my hand? Yeah. I need a fork. What do you need a fork for? So I can cut it and eat it. Pick it up and eat it. I'm not picking it up and eating it. Pick it up and eat it. Now look like an animal. Okay. Look at that steam. Ow. Just pick it up and eat it. Yeah. All right. Mmm. One bite? Later. One bite? Mmm. Gruyere cheese is probably my favorite of all time cheeses. Um, I also like horseradish cheese. This is really good. Mix and match whatever you want. It's got cream cheese, Gruyere, bacon. Can't go any better than that. Let's grab another bite. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.